Hello and welcome to another Roblox scripting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make area-based music. We're going to play music based on a specific area in a part. This is incredibly easy to do. It doesn't take much, but it does take at least minor knowledge of what a region 3 is. And I will be teaching you how to make one and also how to get the parts inside of it. In the workspace, I have a folder with two parts. It's the sand and the grass region that I have separated here. It's just a folder named regions. In the workspace, I'm going to add a folder and I'm going to name this folder music parts. You can name this whatever you want to, but it doesn't matter. In this folder, I'm going to insert a part. And with this part, I'm going to align it with the corner. I'm going to anchor it. I'm going to scroll down, set can collide to false. And then I'm going to readjust the size to match the size of this part. And then I'm going to make it really tall so the player can't escape the top of it. Then I'm going to name this one Grass Region. I'm going to duplicate this part and I'm going to move it over to the edge of the sand region. And I'm just going to change the grass in the name to sand. So it is now named sand region. I'm going to take both of these parts. I'm going to set their transparency to one. This is going to make them invisible so the player cannot see them. In sound service, I have a folder named area music. You don't have to put it in a folder. And the, and the music can be named whatever you want it to be. But I have it in a folder, and I have them named the same as the parts. But again, it doesn't matter. You just have to change it in the script. So we're going to add a script. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the run context from legacy to client. This is going to give it the same features as a local script, but it will allow it to run. Because if I try to put a local script in this part, it only has five places that it can run. Local scripts can only run in the player's backpack, character model, player GUI, player's script, so their player's scripts folder in the player, or in replicated first. It will not run if we just put a regular local script into this part. Setting the run context of a server script to client will allow it to run in the part. I'm going to rename this script to music change, but this can be named whatever you'd like it to be. We don't need very many variables. We actually need very few variables. We're going to need three services, which is going to be players, run service, and sound service. We're going to need local, local players equals game. I need to readjust my keyboard. Game colon get service players. Then we need run service. So local run service equals game colon gets get service. I can't type run service now we need sound service so local sound service equals game colon colon get service sound service now we need the player's player object and their character so we're going to do local player equals players dot local player then we need their character so local character equals player dot character or player dot character added colon wait which will wait for the character to exist if it doesn't when we call player dot character then we need the part which is the parent of the script so local part equals script dot parent i really can't type today then we need to create a new region 3 which is pretty simple what we're going to do to create the sizes of the region 3 Instead of getting the two corners of the parts by having to manually create parts in their position to put one here, putting that vector 3 there, and then putting one here and getting that vector 3, we can do some very simple math to get the size of the part automatically to get the two corners. So what we're going to do is local region equals region 3.new. We're going to create two parentheses. Then we're going to do part dot position minus two parentheses again, part dot size divided by two. Then we're going to do comma part dot position plus two parentheses, part dot size divided by two. 
Then we want to get the music from sound service that we want to play. So we're going to do local music equals sound service colon wait for child. Since I have it in the folder, I'm going to type area music. If you don't have it in a folder or you have it in more folders, you would just do wait for child until you get to the location of it. But since I have it in one folder, it's going to be sound service. It's going to wait for the area music and then it's going to wait for child again for grass region since that's where this script is parented to. Then we're going to need one more variable, local in region equals false. It's going to be a boolean. Now we're going to create a function for render stepped. So local function render stepped. This doesn't take any parameters. Well, we don't need any parameters. First thing we're going to do is set in region to false. This is in case the player leaves the part, it won't keep playing the music forever. Then we're going to do local params. We need overlap params, which is similar to raycast params, but it's for workspace colon get part bounds in box, which is a method on workspace to get every part inside of a region 3 box. So we're going to do local params equals over overlap params dot new. For these overlap params, we don't need to do very much. We're just going to do params that filter type equals enum dot raycast filter type dot include. So it's only going to include the descendants of what we put in this table right below it. So we're going to do params params dot filter descendants instances and we're going to equals a blank table and in this table we're going to put character. So it's going to get the descendants of the character, so every single part, mesh part, accessory part, everything in the character that is a part. Below the params, we're going to do local parts equals workspace colon get part bounds bounds in in box. This is a method which will get the parts inside of a region 3 or inside of the size of a box. So what we're going to do is we're going to do region dot C frame comma region dot size and then we're going to do comma params. Now we do this instead of workspace colon find parts in region three because it is deprecated and no longer works. So we do workspace colon get part bounds in box. It does the exact same thing. Now we're going to create a for loop which is going to loop through every single part in this table that it returned, because this returns a table. So we're going to do a for loop to go through all of them. We're going to do for underscore, because we don't need the index, comma v in parts do. And we're going to do if v colon is descendant of character, then in region equals true break. So we can leave the for loop. Then we're going to do else continue. So if it is not a descendant of the character, then we are going to continue onto the next object in the table. Outside of this for loop, we're going to do if in region, then if not music dot is playing, then music colon play. Then we're going to go outside of the if not is playing. Then we're going to do else music colon stop. Outside of this function, we just need to do one more thing. We're going to do run service that render stepped colon connect render stepped. And now our script is completed. I'm going to copy and paste this script into the sand region. I'm going to edit the script and I'm going to change this area music and grass region to sand region. So it will play the sand music instead of grass. So when I play test this, it should work. So if I walk over here, you can hear the music playing. And when I walk into the sand region, it plays the sand music. That is our tutorial done. I hope you found this useful and I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah.